Hi everyone. Today we have a special guest. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Who are you? I'm Jeff Halpern. I'm Carrie Lake's husband. Oh wow! <laughs> I have a few questions I want to ask you. How do you feel for uh, to have such a strong woman, intelligent woman, as a wife? Well, it's it's amazing. I mean, she. Uh, we've been married 25 years, and you know this is this is who she is. Uh, she is amazing. Um, you know she focuses very well, and uh, like I've said in the past, even before she started uh, running for office, is you know she was on TV this whole time, and what you see on television is who she is in real life. So you know there's no difference, and that's I think a lot of people are seeing that now. Yeah, she she is so smart. She's the smartest woman. She's her brain is like tick 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 tick, tick all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, hard, it's hard to win an argument. <laughs> yeah. Very oh, hard. Yeah. Yes. How, how how did that feel? Like uh, when it, you were having an argument, that's very choose, hard. I have to choose my battles well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does your son and uh, or daughter listen to her better or listen to you better? Well, they're pretty good about listening to both of us, you know, but, you know, they, they know they don't want angry mom. <laughs> they do not want angry mom. Okay, then uh, next question is going to be a little secret. Is she going to be our vice president? Well, I think uh, right now that's probably up to President Trump to decide. <laughs> but and then, you know, it's probably a, maybe a year down the road or a little bit less. Uh, but right now, she's focused on the governor's race and uh, possibly looking into a Senate run. Yeah. So if that happens, maybe we'll hear about it in the next couple months. Okay. Uh, so how's the campaign going for now? Uh, well, right now, she's, you know, she's here tonight. She is traveling around, uh, being asked to speak uh, at different groups all around the country and the world. Uh, about election integrity, you know, uh, about politics. Mm -hmm. And so it's, I mean, it's amazing. You know, everywhere we go, she gets support and she gets love. So it's really great. It's, it's an amazing time. We met Carrie Lake and her husband. <laughs> and, uh, oh, here she is. All right. Hi, Hi, Carrie. All right. Are we on right now? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. How are you, everyone? It's so good to be with you. It's my honor. I, I report about you almost every other day. Yes. Are you serious? And we yeah. are putting on Chinese subtitle to yeah, let all the people know, like great. who's speaking Chinese, who can read Chinese, all the population, to let them know and, your and good is, work. Is your audience primarily in California? Uh, no, it's all over the state. Okay. Uh, Seventy percent of our audience is in uh, in America, yep. and thirties are in Taiwan. Well, and and people who've come here from China understand what the risk is, what the threat is. I mean, they've escaped the communist regime, and they can hear it knocking at our door. It's not just knocking at our door; it's here, and so we have an opportunity to save America and say we don't want communism we never want to be a communist nation we want to be a free nation and the way they're they're taking our country and infiltrating it is through elections that are rigged mm -hmm. you know our, our founding fathers fought for this country to create this beautiful country so that we the people would have a vote and we get to choose who our leaders are and when we choose our leaders we're not choosing the people who are sitting in office right now they have to rig elections to get a joe biden in office because nobody wants that and so we're, we've got a lot. Um, we've got a lot of threats right now, and I'm just really, really encouraged everywhere I go to see all kinds of people saying we're willing to stand up and fight for this country because this is this is the last bastion. If we lose America, if we lose our constitution and the rights uh, that we have, the really God-given rights, yes. then then we're done. I think as a world, I, I I fear for the world. So I'm glad you're getting the word out. Thank you. Oh, indeed, we have a lot of supporter that is in Arizona. And uh, th she, she support us, our ministry too, and then she's a big supporter of you. Her name is Judy Lee. Do you want to say something to her? Julie Lee? Judy Lee. Judy Lee, are you in Arizona? Why haven't I met you yet? <laughs> I'm sure that in the coming months we'll get a chance to meet. Thank you for your support. I want to thank everybody out there watching, uh, not only for your support, but for your prayers. Because the prayers, I, I believe, are so powerful. Yes. And we're all praying right now for our country. I know people always tell me we're praying for you, Carrie, and I appreciate that so much. We've got a bunch of court cases out there. We're not going to give up the fight. We're not going to give up 
uh, because we have children and, and we want, I want your generation to have a country. I want my children to have a country. And so God placed us here for a reason and I believe the reason is for the battle that we have at our feet right now. Yes, at the last, I think, do you have any message to Christian people, to the church? Can you like empower us and give us some encouragement? Absolutely. I mean, I want to talk to all Christians out there and faith-based people. This is our moment. You know, God placed us here. He gave us life. We all know that. That's a fact. And why did God put us here right now? He could have put us here 500 years ago. God put us here at this moment. And as frightening as it is sometimes, and I'll be honest, I sometimes wake up and go, oh no, another tough day. As tough as it is, when I remember that God created me and put me here at this moment, and put you here at this moment, and you here and everybody out there at this moment, that gives me strength. I don't want to let our father down. We can't let our father down. Because the most important thing is, how does that meeting go when we meet our maker someday? And so I believe as Christians, we have a moral obligation to stand up, fight for what's right, speak out for what's right. A lot of people have been afraid to speak out, and we can't be afraid to speak out. I believe we have a year left to try to save our country. And I know that God is uh, right there with us. His hand is on our shoulder, propelling us forward. Don't give up hope and don't give up faith. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Continue to pray, pray for Carrie, and then uh, pray that she's going to be our vice president. <laughs> <laughs> first things first, I want to win our court cases. Yeah. The yes. people of Arizona voted, Thank and, and, and we, we won in a landslide, and everybody knows it, but we have to fight this, unfortunately, in the courts, and that's where our battle is. And I'm willing to take the fight to the, to the courts. And we're getting some wins here and there. I believe one day we'll get a courageous judge. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Keep fighting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so, so much. much. Appreciate it. <laughs>